guys, Today we are at the Qatar Mile racing track uh, because I'm accompanying Hala who is covering the event. Since she's more of a lifestyle blogger and she does this kind of things, it's her thing, you know, biker chick slash badass. So I thought of coming here and checking it out. So far it's been nice to see all of these people gather for a passion for racing. There are bikes out here, supercar, lots of people enjoying it. Had a little photo shoot as well, so I'm really excited. We took a round at the track. We looked at some of the cars drifting, doing things, racing, and uh, we took a photo shoot with the bikes and cars. It's pretty nice, but uh, it's really hot today, like seriously hot. And being out there in the sun for a while with this turban on, now I have a headache. Alhamdulillah, we finished and uh, we're just chilling here in this massive tent. We're just chilling really hot, yo. <laughs> so hot. But now we're planning what to do. If you want to go for lunch or you want to stay, I'm this so girl excited. needs to decide. It's crazy. Giving me like 10 plans at one time and she's like, what do you think? I'm, and I'm like, I told you what the plan is. And me? I like to stay on track, you know, like, okay, we're doing this, we're doing that. We're so indecisive. Yeah. I'm cancer with like 10 million emotions. She plans. Yeah. She plans. I don't plan. I yeah. just go with the flow. Yeah. You know? Must be nice. One day we should switch. Yeah. Seriously, yeah, Just switch. go with the flow. Oh, I feel like going to London tomorrow. Book a ticket. And go. <laughs> and, go. and leave everything behind. Yeah, leave everything behind. Now, what's my kids going to be like when they wake Take up? Like, mama. You. <laughs> you need just to go. have fun. Live and let live. Yeah. And sometimes you need to stay on track. What did she say? She says she doesn't know tea time. <gasps> what? Yeah, what? You don't have a tea time in Kuwait? No. <gasps> What's tea time? It's a restaurant. Tea time is a cafeteria. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm showing Leila, my brother. He's a rapper. San Francisco representing Kuwait. <laughs> This is kind of cool up boss Hit not a good job Sonic gonna go hard I can travel up tripping up heavy tripping up the top got down Hit up the pharmacy tripping blood I can hit every street guys so it's time for me to give you a full review of this Hyundai Veloster that I've been driving over the weekend. Big shout out to Hyundai Qatar for reaching out to me and choosing this car to go with my lifestyle and my style after checking me out on Instagram. First of all, uh, I want to say that it's a, a sports car. It has like three doors. It's a Hyundai Veloster Turbo, so it's got good speed. The first thing I want to talk about is the car exterior. That it has nice edge and cut for a small car. It looks pretty damn badass. I love the lights because it has these cool circular lights inside that makes it look super modern. It's the only three-door car in the world, so that's amazing. For a tiny sports car, I would say it's spacious because look, it already fits a suitcase in there. It has a proper sports car interior. When you sit in it, it holds you well, so when you're driving fast, you don't go mini minak, you know? The steering it's very smooth when you want to go left and right i found out that it steers really well and it keeps you in track you can drive in automatic or manual which is pretty damn good cool obviously you have your features here volume mode trip reset phone call you can navigate through the screen to have your media set up so of course it's an excellent feature to have a sunroof when you have that great weather you want to be feeling it i did a comprehensive review on my snapchat and i talked about the fact that i have never driven a hyundai before in my all, all my years as a driver all this time i've not really paid attention to hyundai because i haven't had a chance so this was an experience for me I've ridden Hyundai's before to experience it as a driver was actually very good for me because I got to know a brand that otherwise I wouldn't have thought about to wrap it up the fact that this car is affordable cool fast also fuel consumption I'm blown away with 30 QR can get me a long way so you guys it's dinner time and I'm bringing this fabulous lady Hala to crepe a crepe at Connaught Courtier it's a newly opened place I haven't been either so it's gonna be exciting to try it out together and see how it goes i choose the pearl to bring my visitors because you guys know how different it is and vibe and the beautiful sceneries and the cafes here are quite uh, conceptual and modern so each cafe has their own concepts you see that vvip treatment all the time Let's 
rolling. She's the best, y'all. Had so much fun. So much I fun. Mean, We're gonna see each other again, inshallah. You have anything to say to Doha? It's been real. It's been real. It's been real. Bye. 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 Have a Bye. safe flight. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Message me when you land. Inshallah. Okay. Thank you. about the Hyundai. I work while I work, while I work, while I work. <laughs> okay, I'll have the Hyundai. What is the best seller from the second to best? Um, for me is Which one? Yeah, I think this one. Guys, you have to be honest. I look better this season, right? On camera. Comment down below if I do. Because last season, I was just like, the special thanks to mom for like okay. taking like all okay. these okay. and like zooming into my face all the time. So you guys, they have this something called uh, the football menu, which uh, is a special menu dedicated to football. Well, football lovers can come in here, watch <laughs> football on their TV, and eat football-themed food, like chicken wings, and bruschetta, and finger foods, you know? I just finished dinner with this pretty lady. Come, come. <laughs> anyway, okay, so yeah, food <laughs> was really good. <laughs> It, <laughs> it exceeded my expectation. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. I liked it. It was um, bravocado. <laughs> it was uh, amazing. <laughs> I can't make a joke out of that one. The steak was really good. We had the poutine that disappeared in like 10 seconds. Uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. You know my rating already. <laughs> Hi guys, today I am chilling with uh, this one, this one, and this one right here at uh, Cafe 999, which is located at West Bay. Uh, it is actually pretty darn new. I got invited here when they opened back in uh, December. I'm sick though, I'm really sick, but I came out, Ashan, this one. <laughs> Golden boy right here, just got back in town from India. Say namaste! Citrons, <laughs> citrons. review time. I give this place a straight up 6 out of 10. <laughs> uh, it's a 6 out of 10 because the burger that I had didn't amaze me and I'm like a burger person as you guys know. I've had better burgers so this one was just like right there in the middle. I and mean, it's really nice. They have an outdoor seating and the best is my company. It's the vegetarian lasagna. And, and the vegetarian lasagna oh, she's was, vegetarian. was really good. And yeah and a vegetarian option on the menu is a thumbs up. Thank you. Hi guys! I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while. Have I vlogged in a while? No, I haven't. <laughs> anyway, I am here today at the Gate Mall because I'm gonna go try out uh, Utopia. It's not my first time. I love the place. I've been here, I've been there before. Uh, they have a nice outdoor seating area. Really nice when the weather is really good. It's been raining here for the last three days in Doha. And finally today it looks a little okay, Yani. So I thought why not come here, chill. It's my last uh, couple of days here in Doha. So I just want to catch up with uh, Seti and Loreto. How random is this? <laughs> <laughs> good, how are you? Good. Good. Second. Yeah. And what's your other uh, spicy sauce? You want to try spicy crunchy prawns? It's one of very famous and high series. Okay, that one and.
Okay, so we just finished dinner at Etopia. They have a sushi night here on uh, Sunday. 150 rials, you get a nice platter of sushi, which I find is great because I love my sushi. I ordered sushi, but then I had to send it back because I'm trying to watch what I eat this week. Instead, I ordered the salmon. Salmon was cooked right. The veggies were steamed, so I can't really say much about it. They have healthy options as well on the menu, which is a plus point for me. And the ambiance, as you can see, is really nice. With this weather and this view, you guys know this is my favorite view of Doha, right? The skyline and everything. I'm living around this area. I should move here. Give it a 8 out of 10. They have a very nice salad bar, which I usually go for. And now they, they develop the salad bar they added more veggies, they added chicken. Previously they did not have chicken and I really enjoyed it actually. If you come here, go for the salad bar, have a big bowl of salad, a lot of chicken, a lot of asparagus and they have a lemon, uh, what dressing I have? Lemon vinegar dressing. That's like the best. Very healthy and uh, very light. The rating out of 10 for the salad would be eight and a half, nine. So I'm here today at Enzane, which is located at the Pearl at Canal Cartier. I'm coming here especially to show you guys around because this belongs to a baby girl of mine. She's been working real hard for the last year. I remember when we spoke about this dream of hers coming true. She would show me photos on her iPhone like, I want it to look like this. So it's really nice to see her vision come true. And I'm really excited to show you guys around. Hello. Hi. Green tea with mint. Green tea with mint. Let's eat. I like the names, they're so cool. And you know the little jugs, this one? Reminds me of my childhood. Because we used to have like big version every Ramadan. So, I just finished uh, having my healthy dinner here at Insane. I want to tell you guys why I think the place is unique. Because I do want you guys to come check it out. Not just because I know the lady behind it. Because I feel like it's nice to support local businesses that are homegrown and established in Doha, Qatar, you know? It's good to support each other. Always, you know, go forward with locally sourced businesses. Exactly. So here we go. First of all, the interior. Ajib. It's really cool. They have words that are popularly used in our slang in Khali, Khaliji. And the food, the way she named the menu, is also very different. And they have an outdoor seating area when the weather is great. Somewhere to chill with your friends outside. But seriously, that chocolate fondant though, it's one of the best. I not, uh, I not joke. I not joke. It's one of the best. I'm so excited to be closing this vlog. It's been such a long, like, I don't know. It's, uh, honestly, this season, what I wanted to focus on was to show you guys how and where and what you can find here in Doha that can be informative to your lives. Also, I wanted to show you guys, you know, special people that I collaborated with, such as Hella. It's Dudette. We had a blast, you guys. It was so much fun hosting her here. I love showing people around in Qatar and especially influencers that come here. So we did something totally different, like the race day. We stayed at the Westin and had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole season and can find something informative out of all of these vlogs. And if you do enjoy the vlogs, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Share it with your friends. Tell your family, tell your followers, tell your friends all about being with Layla. And you know, inshallah, maybe next season, I don't know, we'll meet. Right from the sea